Peacock. Today I'm going to give a demonstration on the linearity testing using a glucose sensor in the, in the glucose solution. So before we start our work, we need to make sure all our setup are ready and uh, all our solutions are well prepared before we are running the experiment. So first of all, we need to have our PBS that doesn't contain any glucose as our blank. And also we need to prepare one molar of a glucose solution so that we can spike into this PBS to have a staircase performance in the chrono amperometry. In terms of the setup wise, we need to have this anaport and a connector that can connect into our wire sensor. Also, like in order to have a homogeneous stirring, we need to have a magnetic stirrer and a stir bar and a small beaker because we are not going to put a lot of solution inside. Uh, okay, so we are taking 5 ml of the solution from the PBS uh, tube. So now it's uh, adjust to 5 ml and we gently dispense uh, the solution into the small beaker. And uh, now we need to turn on the magnetic stirrer. Make sure the magnetic stir bar is uh, in the middle of the solution so that it has a lower chance to be um, hitting the wall to cause uh, some uh, electronic noise. Uh, now we need to lower our wire sensor into the solution. Make sure the wire is not in contact with uh, the magnetic stir. Otherwise, uh, it will generate a, a huge electronic noise. Now, I can see the sensor is uh, inside the solution, but not in contact with uh, the magnetic stirrer. Now we have uh, our setup ready. What we need to do now is uh, to connect our PS Trace application into our anaport. So uh, you just need to have this uh, drag down bar to find out your uh, device and then click connect. Because uh, we are going to use a chrono amperometry, so you just uh, need to find out uh, in the amperometric method, we just uh, need to select chrono amperometry and we need to set our parameters to be uh, 0.65 volts and then uh, we need to set our interval to be uh, one second. Uh, our time needs to be slightly longer than uh, what it's supposed to be. So I set it to be 1,500 seconds. So I have uh, plenty of time to run the staircase. So uh, now uh, I can click start. So during this time, uh, we can wait for uh, the equilibrium to, to be reached because uh, there's some sensors might need some, some time to reach equilibrium. So uh, in order to achieve a five millimolar per step, I need to take a 25 microliter of uh, one molar glucose solution. So you can form your own uh, glucose calculation to find out how much you need to add each time. Okay, so now uh, the signal is uh, reaching uh, stability. So we might be uh, able to do that pretty soon. So now uh, I already set my pipette to 25 microliter. So now I'm taking uh, the solution from the one molar glucose solution and then I spike in. Make sure the solution is uh, not in contact with uh, your electrodes, otherwise uh, it will show as a spike, a big spike. So now we are just uh, waiting for the reaction to, to take place. If I zoom in, you will see there's a step already. So um, because it's a really uh, it's a micro electrode, so we don't is, expect like a big spike. So um, if you spike the solution too close to the electrode, you will see a huge spike and then coming down. Because uh, uh, at the moment we just uh, pipette the solution uh, around the electrode, not on the electrode. So like uh, the the transition is a uh, really small. Okay, now we can give another spike to give another five millimolar increase. Again, don't put it too close to the electron. Now you can see there's another uh, increase uh, in the staircase. So let's uh, wait a little bit for, for each for the sensor to reach stability. Okay, 
It's a really nice uh, platform. Okay, I will give a last spike to have uh, the last staircase. Again, there will be the third staircase happening on our chrono amperometry. Okay, we can stop the measurement. So um, now this is uh, the end of the demonstration. So we uh, have demonstrated that like how to use uh, the uh, one molar glucose solution and a beaker and anaport to characterize uh, the sensor, the glucose sensor in the glucose uh, um, spiking solution. If you want, you just uh, save like uh, your data and that's it. Thank you very much for watching.